Hey, um, it's me again, um, 101 Braden, or just Joe, if you like. And today I'm going to be doing a hair care tutorial for mixed race hair. It's not really a tutorial, it's just me basically doing my hair in front of the camera, how I normally do it. So yeah, so the first product that I'm using is the Cantu Shea Butter. Um, I think that's come backwards. So it's a Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner repair cream. Like my hair isn't really damaged. It's a little heat damaged because I've straightened it a few times. But this does the job when I'm trying to moisturize my hair for like a day or two. And it like lasts quite well. So, so I just shampooed my hair and gave it a tiny little dab dry of my towel. This is why these bits look a bit dry already, so I'm just going to rub it in my hands. Just... Don't need the towel. So I just put it on all over my head, really. I've applied a light bit to the front. Need to put some on the back now and on the sides. I'm worried I've put too much on. Now I just separate it to one part. mistake people make is that they put too much on and then their hair comes out kind of a bit crispy if that makes sense now the conditioner is applied in all of my hair now I'm just going to rub it in as much as I can and then I'm going to brush it sometimes I do do a more in-depth treatment but can't really be arsed today, to be honest. I'm just brushing my hair. Not really a fan of this brush, but I can't find the others. So I've got most of it brushed. This brush is good for if you have an itchy head at times, you can just itch it. Obviously not when it's dried, because that would really fuck the hair up. But you know, just when you're brushing your hair like this and your head's itchy. Just a recap of what I've done. So I got Normally I um, have a shower to wash my hair, but this time I was sitting in the bath. Normally I um, have a shower to wash my hair, but this time I was sitting in the bath and I just went on underwater and, uh, you know, wet my hair. It's kind of self-explanatory. I put, I can't remember the brand, but it's a conditioner for afro hair and mixed race hair. Like my hair's not afro, but... It does get much curlier when it's dry, like, it's, it's not that curly at the moment. Then after that, I used the Cantu Shea Butter. Um, it's really good. I recommend it, even if your hair's not that curly. If it's less curly than mine, which you can view my hair pattern in other videos, if it's less curly than mine, it's still a good product, especially if it's, like, dry, because I know some people with curly hair don't actually have, like, that dry of a hair, but, you know... It's just a good thing to bear in mind, like whether you have dry hair or normal hair, I guess. So, yeah, so I use that and then I just 
brushed through my hair. Okay, that's all from me today. Um, yeah, I hope everyone is coping during this lockdown. It's been really, it's been really boring at times, but I have been picking up some other hobbies. Um, I learned the flute, and I've got an oboe on the way, which I'm really happy about. I'm really happy about. I wanted a bassoon, but you know, an oboe is just as good as a bassoon. All the instruments are amazing, so I'm not complaining. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then subscribe and like the video and comment on it as well. If you have any tips or if you want to know anything about how I take care of my hair or how to take care of your own, if you have a similar hair texture to me. So yeah. And of course, if you want a French version of this, just comment and I'll make a French hair care routine, you know. Why not? Bye.